Do you ever just wake up every morning? I wonder what year it is. Because same. I don't know why, but I feel like this year has gone by super fast. And of course, you know, it hasn't been able to slow down. So I just kind of want to recap what this year has been and what it's going to be. You know, like an annual calendar thing. I don't know. Should be fun though. 10 out of 10. You should watch. Well, 12 out of 10. Haha, <laughs> because there are 12 months of the year. I'll leave now. January, where we all wake up every single day and pretend like we're actually going to have a fresh start. Yeah, right. I mean, do we really wake up every day in January and think today I'm going to drink no caffeine? You maybe make it a week and then you're like, I miss my Dr. Pepper. February. You either die of heartbreak or die from chocolate intake. There's no in between. You're either eating a lot or you're just really depressed and you're not leaving your bed because you're alone. I'm somehow both. March. The month out of every year that we either celebrate Easter and Lent or just Lent and spring break. Spring break is the best part of March. Probably the only good part of March because March is kind of weird. It's like rainy and cold. Sometimes it can be hot. I hate March. Beware of the Ides. April, the only good month out of the year. And that's not just because it has my birthday. April is sunny. Sometimes it rains, but it brings May flowers. This is the ship. I meant the month. There we go. There's the month. Ah, uh, yes. May, where people graduate high school and college. That's also June, but we'll get there. But in May, when we graduate college, we think we're actually going to be doing something good with ourselves. And then we spend three months at home with mom and dad saying, I just want a break from everything. And we don't find jobs right away. June, the month out of every year that we pretend that we really need to go on vacation, despite the fact that we actually don't need to go anywhere. And we end up just staying at home instead. Beach days turn into sandbox days, maybe kiddie pool days. Sometimes you just run through the sprinkler or you take a cold shower and you count that as good. July, the month of America. Did you know July does not exist in any other country whatsoever because the only country that matters during July, especially the first four days of July, is America. And that's because America is definitely the best and that's why we celebrate for all of the month of July. Fireworks on the 14th, fireworks on the 21st, Fireworks every single day, not just the 4th. It's the July motto. It doesn't exist anywhere else. Ah, August. What would we do without you? Without the heat, 100 degree days, humidity, mosquitoes, school starting again. August, I don't like you. Go away. September. September is another time where people start school. And during that like second week of school, we already have a day off because of Labor Day. That makes sense. People get married in this weekend, just so you know. Literally everyone. It's just everyone. September is like the month of marriage, besides all of summer. Ah, uh, yes, September. What a month. School, and that's it. October, oh wait, no, skip. November, mm. skip. December, the only month that actually truly matters because of Christmas and Yuletide and that one last day of the year where we all celebrate the fact that we actually did nothing at all this year. At all. But Christmas! Christmas is in December. The only part of the year that matters. Christmas, fam. It's Christmas! <laughs>